Level up tayo, grade 11, lesson 1. Ayan. So, pag ganito yung uniform, alam nyo na, this video is for grade 11. Kulay black. And grade 11, lesson 1 is about the piecewise function. A piecewise function is a function that, that can be broken up into many parts. And this function then, as well, dapat alam mo na yung linear equation ng grade 7 and grade 8. Ngayon din yung quadratic equation ng grade 9 ka. So, i-discuss natin si piecewise function. Focus muna tayo sa evaluating piecewise function. Let's say we have example, f of x is equal to 3x minus 8 when x is greater than or equal to 2. Again, sabi natin na piecewise function is can be broken up into many parts. So we have another part, 4x or f of x is equal to 4x plus 5 when x is less than 2. Find a f of negative 2, b f of 2, and c f of 5. So evaluate natin. Let's say number 1, or letter A. F of negative 2. So, i-check natin yung condition. Negative 2. Saan siya papasok dito sa restriction natin? X is greater than or equal to 2. Or X is less than 2. Alam natin na si negative 2 ay less than 2. Ayan. So, dito siya papasok sa condition na ito. So, ang gagamitin natin na expression sa function natin ay si 4x plus 5. Then, substitute the value of x. We have f of negative 2. So, that means si x natin, palitan lang natin ng negative 2. Plus 5. Next, 4 times negative 2. That is negative 8. Plus 5. Negative 8 plus 5, that is negative 3. So, ito na yung value ng f of negative 2 natin. Try natin si letter B. Uh, pwede mong i-pause yung video kung gusto mo i-try sa sarili mo. f of 2, condition natin, check natin, f of 2, so alin siya papasok, x is greater than or equal to 2. Ayan, nabanggit na natin, equal to 2. So, ito siya. So, ito yung magiging value na expression natin. 3x minus 8. Then, substitute. So, we have 3 times 2 minus 8. 3 times 2, that is 6 minus 8. Then, 6 minus 8, negative. So, this will be the value of our piecewise function if x is 2 or in f of 2. Letter C. f of 5. So, f of 5. We know that 5 is greater than 2. So, dito tayo papasok. So, we have 3x minus 8. 3 times our value of x is 5. So, substitute ulit. So, 5 minus 8. Then, 3 times 5, 15 minus 8. And therefore, we have 7. 15 minus 8 is 7. So, ganun lang yung pag-evaluate ng function. Ang mahalaga, familiar ka dito sa ating inequality sign. Kaya, more example tayo. Let us proceed to second example. Let's say we have f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 7 when x is less than negative 1, x cubed plus 4 when x is greater than 2, 12 when x is equal to 2, 5x plus 6 when x is greater than or equal to negative 1, but less than 2. Find 
f of negative 4, f of 0, f of 2, and f of 3. So, pansinin natin yung functions natin. So, meron tayo ditong quadratic, quadratic function. Meron tayo ditong cubic function. We have a constant function and a linear function. Ayan. So, iba-iba yung function natin. Now, evaluate natin f of negative 4. So, we need to evaluate a f of negative 4. Saan papasok sa condition natin si negative 4? So, hanapin natin dyan. Negative 4. So, x is less than negative 1. So, yung x daw natin mas maliit sa negative 1. Si negative 4 ba mas maliit sa negative 1? Yes. Pasok siya sa condition natin. So, siya yung kukunin natin. So, si x squared plus 3x minus 7. I-check nga natin kung may iba pang function na pasok si negative 4. x is greater than 2. Siyempre, hindi. Negative 4 ay mas maliit. Hindi din ito. x is equal to 2. They are not equal x is greater than negative 1 or equal to negative 1 but less than 2 or less than 2. So, hindi din. So, siya lang talaga yung pasok sa condition natin. Now, substitute na natin. x is negative 4. So, negative 4 squared plus 3 times our x is negative 4 minus 7. Negative 4 raised to 2. So, negative 4 times negative 4 positive 16. 3 times negative 4, negative 12. Then copy minus 7. 12, uh, 16 minus 12, that is 4 minus 7. Then 4 minus 7 is equal to negative 3. So f of negative 4 is equal to negative 3. Letter B f of 0 f of 0 san pasok si 0 sa condition natin x is less than negative 1 no 0 ay mas malaki sa negative 1 x is greater than 2 hindi din mas maliit si 0 kay 2 syempre hindi na din to kasi hindi naman sila equal so, ito na lang condition natin. Check natin. X is greater than or equal to negative 1. Tama. Mas malaki si 0 kay negative 1. But less than 2. Okay, pasok. Kasi less than 2 naman talaga si 0. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay. 5X plus 6. Substitute natin. 5 times 0 plus 6. 5 times 0, that is 0 plus 6. And this is 6. So, ayan na ngayon yung value ng f of 0. 6. Letter C. f of 2. f of 2. Pasinin natin na dito sa third condition natin, x is equal to 2. So, siya na yan. That is a constant function which is 12. Tapos na siya agad. O saan na ganyan lang lahat. D. F of 3. I-check natin. F of 3. Siyempre, kitang-kita natin. X is uh, greater than 2. So, mas malaki si 3 kay 2. Kaya, ito yung gagamitin natin. X cubed plus 4. Then substitute natin 3 cube plus 4. 3 cube is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 27 plus 4. And our f of 3 is 31. So yan ang evaluating piecewise function. Next lesson yan is how to graph the piecewise function. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Senior Pablo TV and click the notification bell para maging updated kayo sa mga susunod na videos.